What you hit me for? You just hit my damn arm. Come on. I'm tired of you putting your hand on me and thing, Monique. <laughs> but anyway, don't y'all hate when y'all women hit you over before you start rolling the camera? That's what she did. Yo, what up, y'all? <laughs> we back in the doggone building. And that's right, we back in the doggone building. Because somebody wants some... Cube steak. Cube steak. Some smothered cube steaks with gravy, y'all. And I'm going to cook it. Not because she told me to. Because I... I'm the man out of the kitchen and the man of the house. Right? Right. You just want them damn cube steaks. That's all you want. You don't want me. You want them damn cube steaks. All right, y'all. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. And like, comment, and share. Share. Got that right. I ain't sharing you. You might share me, though. Because, you know, all these people are going to be watching. So, you basically sharing me with the world, you know. Okay. Don't be jealous. I mean, Never don't that. be jealous. It's, it's going to be a lot of women on me on here now. What? I'll see y'all in a minute. <laughs> Got something else you want to say? No. Oh, she look like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Alright y'all, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up our veggies. I got me a green bell pepper here. And I got a white onion. Just going to cut this, simply cut this up right here. And I'm going to just break them. I'm not going to cut them in little, little teeny small pieces, just little block pieces. Like what you're seeing right here. That's how I'm going to do them. It's my bell pepper. Okay. That's how I'm going to do mine today. All right, I don't want to cut them too small because once you cook, you'll start cooking that gravy. You want them to be nice and chunky, not all dissolved and small because it's going to cook no matter what anyway. So it's going to really cook down. So you don't want it to be too small where you can't, you know, you can't eat it. It'd be too long on loose. All right, so you want to cut them down just as small like this, not too small, just little blocks, you know, simple as that. I want to um, say thank you to all your new subscribers, and thank y'all for joining the community, y'all, and um, yeah, me and Monique really appreciate that. And there's going to be a lot more videos to come on this channel, y'all. So y'all stay tuned to all those good, good, nice, good cooking recipes and stuff that we're going to be creating. All right? Because it's coming. Trust me, they're coming. Now I'm busting down this onion. I'm going to use all these onions, y'all. I love onions in my dog and gravy. Ain't nothing like onions in your gravy, y'all. Trust and believe that. Not like some good onions in your gravy. Yeah, you got to have them onions, man. Got to have them onions. This is going to be a nice, good recipe that I'm about to make today. Yeah, we ain't had cube steaks in so long. Boy, it don't make no sense, man. Right now, Monique in there braiding, braiding up her hair, putting hair weave in her head. And um, look, you trying to look sexy and good for me. That's my wife. Gotta love. Be right back. All right, y'all. I got my cube steaks right here in this bowl. 
I'm uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down some paper towel because we want them cube steaks to be not dry, dry, but you don't want them to be soaking wet too. You know, they cook better when they when they not so you know soaking wet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our paper towel. We're just gonna squeeze out a little bit of that water type substance and stuff like that and we want it to be nice and right you know you don't want it too dry too wet when you put that bad boy in that grease you know what I mean so yeah just simply uh get the paper towel off of it and just lay it right there right on your cutting board or whatever you got after you done dry them off and get a whole new paper towel and do some more you want to do that man because they'll cook better you don't want it to be nice and wet when you uh when you throwing it in that grease because you don't want that grease popping all in your face and stuff like that so make sure you just dry it off a little bit you know don't don't try to uh you know it ain't gotta be perfect, perfect but make sure you at least dry off some of that liquid all right and just patch it, smash it down you know you get that liquid off of it you know you don't want to put it in there all wet and, and wet and damp so even though it's wet from the blood but you also want to make sure it ain't soaking wet where it splashes in in your face when uh when you uh putting it in the grease too because that's a dangerous thing man that grease that junk is going to pop in hit y'all in your head and all kind of crap man and I know y'all don't want that <laughs> I know you don't want it I don't want it for you trust and believe that you know you wanna if you're gonna do something do it right you know do it right you ain't gotta worry about that happening to you okay so yeah I'm just simply grinding them off just like that. You don't want that bad boy to go popping all in your eye. <laughs> and all that crap. So make sure y'all dry it off like I'm doing. Trust me, believe me, you're gonna be nice and okay. Alright, now we're gonna season these bad boys up. Okay? Let's separate them like that. We're just gonna season these bad boys up to the fifth power, y'all. Yeah, sir. Gonna season these bad boys up right here on this thing. <coughs> All right. So the season I'm using today: black pepper, onion powder, seasoning salt, and um, that's it. And I got some rub too that I'm gonna use. Yeah, I got some rub that I had picked up today. This is called um, what is it called Famous Dave Seasoning Rub, y'all. Yeah, I ain't never tried it, but I'm going to try it today. Alright, I got some onion powder there too. I'm going to start off with the onion powder. Okay, onion powder. Yeah, don't be scared to make a mess, make a mess. It's your kitchen. Make a mess. Make a mess, all you want. Uh, if you clean up your kitchen and nobody else clean up your kitchen, because you're entitled to make a dog on mess. Make a mess. Because all you're going to do is be one clean it up. Alright, now I'm putting some seasoning salt on that bad boy. Just like that. Okay, then I'm going to come in with some of that rub that I was telling you all about. Brand new. I just bought it. Never tried it before, but I'm going to try it today. Either. I'm going to try it today. What that book, what that man said on that movie, gonna learn today. Ooh, this smell pretty good. Hey, did you know this rub? This rub smell pretty good. Yeah, I never had it before, but I'm gonna have it today. And I like to do is get my hands and press the seasonings all into the meat. You want, you don't want it to escape. So you gotta press that bad boy in there. Okay, flip that meat so, and let's do the same doggone thing. You know, do the same doggone thing, y'all. Same thing, same cycle. All right, onion powder. OK, 
milkshake, black pepper, some of the seasoned salt, and some of that special rub, y'all. Yeah, this rub smells wonderful. All right, and that's it. Press that season right on in. Make sure your hands is good and clean, just like mine. Trust me, my hands is clean. I done cleaned the whole damn kitchen up. I'm good to go. All right, so now we about to put these bad boys in the pan and cook these bad boys, y'all. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm about to, I got my pot on the stove that I'm gonna be cooking all this in. And I'm gonna get um, get me some vegetable oil and I'll oil my pan up. And we about to cook this bad boy, y'all. Yeah, we about to cook this bad boy right now. Can't take it no more. It must be cooked. Yeah. It must be cooked, y'all. All right, that's enough oil. Okay, so now I'm gonna get some flour and I'm gonna get me, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna soak the, uh, soak them in there. I'm just gonna dab, give them a little flour dab. And um, that's it. I'm sticking bad boys in the pan. And that's it, y'all. Get them some flour on them. Just enough where they're going to be coated up a little bit. Okay. All right, that grease looks like it's getting nice and hot there. Okay, let that bad boy get nice and hot. All right, now, Mr. the part right there. I got my flour bowl. I'm just going to, just, just like that. Okay. I'm just gonna lay them on in there. Let that bad boy go to cooking. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, just like that. Just lay them right on in there. The reason why I'm using a big pot is because I want these bad boys to cook. I might have to do four at a time. I only got enough room to put four in here, so I'm gonna do four at a time. And when these bats right here get done, we're just gonna add the other one. Okay? Just like that. Okay? That's all I'm gonna do, four at a time. Them bad boys are gonna be good, boy. They're gonna be good. Yeah, I like to, uh, when I cook, I like to clean and go along with as I go along. It's just a habit, y'all. Just a habit. So it won't be so much on me when uh, when I get ready to uh, clean up. But yeah, them bad boys are cooking. Them bad boys are cooking. You can smell that rub. That rub smells awesome, y'all. Y'all get a chance. Y'all get this, get this rub, man. This is some real good rub, man. Like I said, it's called Famous Dave Seasoned Season Rib Rub. All right? Get that, man. This is my first time using it. I like the way it smells. So if I like the way something smells, that means it's going to taste good, too. So y'all make sure y'all go get that. They sell it right at Walmart. Right at Walmart. Yep. If they ain't got it in the season area... You can always go in back where they sell the barbecue grills and all that stuff at. Because that's where it's going to be, mostly going to be at, where the grills and all that stuff at. So, y'all go check it out. Because everything that got to do with grilling and all that, trust me, they're going to have all the secret rubs that you need, man. All the secret rubs you need. You ain't got to go far to look for it. It's going to be right there. Okay? So, yeah. I'm going to let this batch right here cook. And I'll be right back, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm back. Okay, I just flipped them bad boys over, man. They're nice and brown. 
and it's cooking real good and I had to add one more in the pot yeah so yeah I, I, yeah when the, the, long, the more they cook they, they shrink up and, and that's why I was able to put that uh the fifth one in there so um yeah I was able to put that fifth one in there the reason why I'm pressing down on this because let me tell you something about cube stick man all because it's brown doesn't mean it's all we done because when it when you and you can touch it like this and it feel like nothing but a big air bubble blockage that ain't nothing but blood coming up out of there so trust me it ain't done these things take time to cook y'all you got to take your time and cook it and cook it right okay see how this one all shriveled up now that gave me another little spot where i can put another one at okay See, I got a whole nother room right there. Mm, mm, mm. Them things gonna be good, y'all. That thing gonna be good, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, you gotta take your time and be patient when you cook your knees, man. Cause uh, trust and believe me, all because it got brown on, on each side. Doesn't mean that it's cooked. You know, you gotta take your time. And see, you can see the blood seeping out of the top right there. Look at that. Look at that. That's what I'm telling you. You got to take your time, man. Okay? Take your time. Yeah, man. And make sure your make sure your Q steaks are cooked. You can't rush it. You gotta take your time and do it right. Let me tell you something funny, y'all. See, I was in the living room, right? And um, I was telling Monique earlier, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this video tomorrow. And she said, and I said, but if you're hungry, honey, uh, if you're hungry, I, I said, if you're hungry, I'll go cook it, but you know, but if you ain't hungry, then we can wait till tomorrow. And so then I sat at the computer. I'm looking at my YouTube channel. And uh, and so, right, so I said, you know what, I'm bored, so I might as well go ahead and cook. So I said, baby, I guess I'm going to go ahead and cook. She said, guess what she said? Well, I guess I'll eat then. <laughs> she said, I guess I'll go ahead and eat then. Because this one, me and her ain't had cute steak in so long. We didn't have either so, I mean, forever. You know? We've been eating everything above the sun, but when it comes to this, we really didn't really pay it no mind. But these things are very delicious. I ain't had one. Last time I had one, I made it on the grill. I made it on the grill. And that was, oh, man, I think that was like three years ago. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since we had it. Giving it another flip. Yeah, you gotta stay flipping these things. They will burn. They will burn. Trust me, they will burn. But see, that's a good thing. They can burn a little bit because you know why? That's good and better for the gravy, y'all. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. That's better for the gravy. But don't burn them to the point where, you know, you can't eat it yourself. You know what I'm saying? You got to eat it. You know why? You cook it. <laughs> and that's just the way it is. You yeah, hear But I, I'm going to be back, y'all. I'm going to finish the rest off camera, and I'll be back. All right, y'all, I'm back. Okay, I'm almost done. But you see all this black crust at the bottom of your pan? Get that junk out of there, man. Because when you eat your gravy, you don't want to bump into no, oh, black, oh, nothing but big blocks of burnt at the bottom of your pan. See, that stuff like that. That's unnecessary, man. 
That's unnecessary. You know, try to get as get as much as you can out of your pan, man. You know, because when you eat your gravy, you don't want to bump into no uh, big burnt pieces in the bottom of your gravy inside your gravy, y'all. Okay, you don't want to do that. Okay, now. I'm about to take these bad boys off. Let's do this gravy, y'all. Alright. I got my onion, my bell pepper. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna soften them bad boys up. Yeah, we're just going to soften them up. Just like that, yo. And we're not going to stop cooking these bad boys till they're nice and soft. Okay? Just regular green bell pepper and a white onion, yo. Okay, get your flour on standby. Yeah, man, y'all just can't leave that uh burnt crust all at the bottom of your pan, man. You got to remove that, man. You got to remove that, you know, just because if you want your gravy to come out smooth and have a good texture. You gotta, you gotta uh, get that gravy that then burps pieces out of your uh, your pan, man. See how I got mine? You don't see no burnt nothing at the bottom of this pan. You know why? Because I took it all out. Okay? That's how you do that. Okay? So now, let me get my seasons that I'm gonna use. I am, like, I, I'm a, um, I got brown gravy mix. I got brown gravy mix and I got some complete seasoning. Okay? And I'm gonna use black pepper. And that's it, y'all. And some onion powder. I really don't gotta use onion powder because I'm using complete seasoning. You know what? I'm not. Scratch that. I'm just gonna use complete seasoning. Black pepper. And um This gravy, uh, brown gravy mix. Okay? And that's it. That's all I'm using today for this. Because it's going to come out good anyway. Okay? <coughs> oh, this bad boy smells good, y'all. <laughs> Bad boys cook it fast too. I'm gonna cook for a minute more, then after that I'm gonna add in the flour. Okay. love this pot right here because it, it don't do don't nothing stick in this pot nothing sticks in this pot nothing I don't care what you think you burning in this pot don't nothing stick in it yeah I'm trying to um, make come ups when it comes to my dishes and pots and pans and yeah I mean I'm tired of using all that old stuff so I'm, I'm trying to upgrade the kitchen and everything I need. All right, now I'm just gonna come in with the great um, flour. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. 
Sorry about that, y'all. And then I'm going to come in with the gravy. The brown gravy mix. Okay. Make complete seasoning. This black pepper. Yes, sir. And we're gonna mix that all with the onions and bell pepper. Now, if you if you using water. Right now would be your best time to get your water on standby. But I'm using uh, beef broth and I'm using also using water. Okay. All right. Now getting the beef broth. And I'm also using water. Yeah, just one one quarter beef broth. Let me see how size this is. This is uh this is this is a two pound. It's a two ounce. Okay. And we're gonna mix that together. This bad boy is gonna be nice and thick and mm, mm, mm. all right. Let me get my water on standby because I know this bad boy about to thicken up. It's about to thicken up, y'all. Yeah, this bad boy going to be thick. Let me get my whisk. Let me get some water, too. Always use hot water, y'all. Never use cold water in your grave. Hot water, gotta be hot. Get my whisk. Gotta constantly mix that, man. You can't constantly mix it. Yeah, you gotta constantly mix it. Get my water. See how it's starting to look like gravy paste? That's what we're looking for, y'all. Yeah, we want that. See, the reason why I'm using my whisk. Cause I want to get all those chunks, and I want to uh, get them loose. That's more water. Yes, sir. And that's all the water you need. Just one cup of water. Cause this is bad boy is about to thicken up the way you want it to be thick, nice and thicked up. Mm -mm. Yes, sir. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Mm -mm. I'm going to call my wife in here in a minute and let her taste this before I put the meat in here. But yeah, if you want to know how to make this recipe, this is how you do it, y'all. This is how you do it. Okay. Look at that. Nice and done now. Monique. Monique. I need you to come here, baby. I want you to taste this before I add the meat. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. Monique tasting it. 
Tell me what you think, baby. And just be honest. Mm-hmm. Now that's how you make dog on gravy, y'all. That's how you make gravy. Mm-hmm. Make you want to lick the spoon. <laughs> I see y'all the bit. All right, y'all. I'm about to add these bad boys, this meat, into this gravy, y'all. Why it's nice and hot. Yep, just get your steak. Lay that bad boys right on in there. Just like so. Yes, sir. And let the bad boy cook in that gravy for 10 minutes. All right? Because you want your meat to be nice and juicy and gravied up. Ooh, ooh. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay? Yeah. Combine all that, 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 all that good steak with that gravy. I'm going to put some rice in the rice cooker. And I'm, that's it. That's it, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Put the top on that bad boy. Call it the day, y'all. But that's how you make it. All right, y'all. But that's how y'all make it, y'all. Cube steak and gravy. Big part of it, too. Cube steak and gravy, y'all. And um, I'm also going to make some cornbread to go with this. So when y'all see the thumbnail, y'all going to see the, this, this right here with some rice and some cornbread. All right? I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all take care. Y'all have a beautiful, blessed day. And God bless you all. And thanks for subscribing to the channel, y'all. Thank you.